Welcome now to Module 4, Enumeration. Scenario is this. With the development of network technologies and applications, network attacks are greatly increasing in both number and severity. Attackers continuously search for service and application vulnerabilities on networks and servers. When they find a flaw or loophole in the service run over the internet, they immediately exploit it and compromise the entire system. Any other data that they may find may be further used to compromise additional network systems. Similarly, attackers seek out and use workstation with administrative privileges and which run flawed applications to execute arbitrary code or implant viruses in order to intensify damage on the network. In the first step of the security assessment and penetration testing of your organization, you gather open source information about your organization. In the second step, you collect information about open ports and services, the operating systems and any configuration lapses. The next step for an ethical hacker or pen tester is to probe the target network further by performing enumeration. Using various techniques, you should extract more details about the network, such as list of computers, usernames, user groups, ports, operating systems, machine names, network resources, and services. The information gleaned from enumeration will help you identify the vulnerabilities in your system security that attackers would seek to exploit. Such information could also enable attackers to perform password attacks to gain unauthorized access to information system resources. In the previous steps, you gather necessary information about the target without going over any legal boundaries. However, please note that enumeration activities may be illegal depending on your organization's policies and any laws that are in effect in your location. As an ethical hacker or pen tester, you should always acquire proper authorization before performing enumeration. The objectives of this lab is to extract information about the target organization that includes, but is not limited to, the machine names, their operating systems, services, and ports, network resources, username and user groups, list of shares on individual hosts on the network, policies and passwords, routing tables, audit and service settings, as well as SNMP and fully qualified domain name details. Overview of enumeration is that it uh, creates an active connection with the system and performs directed queries to gain more information about the target. It extracts list of computers, usernames, user group ports, operating systems, machine names, network resources, and services using various techniques. Enumeration techniques are conducted in an intranet environment. The lab tasks, we have eight labs in this one. The ethical hacker or pen tester use several tools and techniques to enumerate the target network. Recommended labs will be assist in learning various enumeration techniques, which include things like performing NetBIOS enumeration, performing SNMP enumeration, performing LDAP enumeration, performing NFS enumeration, performing DNS enumeration, performing SMTP enumeration, performing RPC, SMB, and FTP enumeration, and then finally performing enumeration using other various enumeration tools. So for our lab one, performing NetBIOS enumeration, as a professional ethical hacker or pen tester, your first step in the enumeration of a Windows system is to exploit the NetBIOS API. Now NetBIOS enumeration allows you to collect information about the target such as a list of computers that belong to a target domain, shares on an individual host of the target network, policies and passwords, and this data can then also be used to probe the machine further for detailed information about the network and host resources. Lab objectives here is that we're gonna perform NetBIOS enumeration using Windows command line utilities, the NetBIOS enumerator, and of course the Nmap NSE scripts. Now the overview of NetBIOS enumeration, as you may know, NetBIOS stands for Network Basic Input Output System. Windows uses NetBIOS for file and printer sharing. And a NetBIOS name is a unique computer name assigned to a Windows system, comprising of a 16 character ASCII screen that identifies the network device over TCP IP. The first 15 characters are used for the device name and the 16th is reserved for the service or name record type. The NetBIOS service is easily targeted as it's simple to exploit and run on Windows systems when they're not in use. 
Now, NetBIOS enumeration allows attackers to read or write to a remote computer system, depending on the availability of the shares, or launch a denial service attack. So for our task one, we're going to perform NetBIOS enumeration using Windows command line utilities. Now, the NBTSTAT tool helps in troubleshooting NetBIOS name resolution problems. The NBTSTAT command removes and corrects preloaded entries using several case-sensitive switches. NBTSTAT can also be used to enumerate information like NetBIOS over TCP IP uh, statistics, NetBIOS name tables for both local and remote computers, and the NetBIOS name cache. Now, NetUse connects a computer to or disconnects it from a shared resource. It also displays information about computer connections. So here we're going to use the NBTSTAT and NetUse Windows command line utilities to perform NetBIOS enumeration on the target network. Now we're going to be needing the Windows Server 2019 and the Windows 11 machine. So we're going to start off with our Windows Server 2019 and we're going to open up the command prompt. So we're just going to open the command prompt. Once we have our command prompt up and running, we're going to go ahead and type in nbtstat minus lowercase a with the IP address of the remote machine, which will be our Windows 11 machine. That's going to be 10.10.1.11. We're going to hit enter. Now the dash lowercase a displays the NetBIOS name table of the remote computer. As a result here, displaying NetBIOS name table of remote computer as we see right here. You should be able to recognize this if you see this in a screenshot. Another thing we could try is tie the NBT stat with the dash C option. It should show us the cache of the NetBIOS name of the remote computer. So we can see here the contents of the NetBIOS name cache, the table of the NetBIOS name, as well as their resolved IP address. Now it is of course also possible to extract this information without creating what we call a null session. Now let's use the net use command. And you'll notice here with the net use command, the output displays information about the target, such as connection status, shared folder drive network information. And we can then use this information. The attacker can read or write to a remote computer system, depending on the availability of the shares or even launch a denial service attack. This concludes this short task demonstration of performing NetBIOS enumeration using Windows command line utilities such as your NBTSTAT and the NetUse tool.